How's it going? Good morning. I have a hypothetical for you. Mm, let's leave that for now. So, for car loans and home loans, boat loans, helicopter loans, and so on. Loans in general, the loan is sort of uh, guaranteed by something. Which is called collateral. So if the loan can't be paid, then the, the collateral is eventually taken in lieu of payment. Seized, repoed, and so on, right? This is pretty basic knowledge of how loans work. If you get a, if you get a car loan, like pull out some money, you're pulling out money off of the equity that your car has. Say your car's paid off and you get a, you get a car loan that's backed, you get a, a personal loan that's backed by your car. So when you're paying that back, if you stop paying it, if you default on that loan, they can come take the car. And you agree to that when you signed up for the loan. So my question is, trying to get some heat going in here. Say you have a large body of people, really large body of people, and say they don't have enough natural resources to act as collateral for a loan that they're taking out. Hypothetically speaking, if uh, the people who hold the, the debt of that large body of people, hypothetically speaking, they might have had the brilliant idea of collateralizing the entire body of people including all the natural resources on the land and including all of those people's potential value creation. So tell me this, what would happen if a large body of people, say 300 and so million who have been collateralized in this fashion, what would happen if that large body of people defaulted on their payments? They couldn't make them anymore. What would happen then? <laughs>